That's right. Thanks, Cole. Yuma High School is the oldest high school in Yuma, dating back to 1909. The football program has a rich and deep history. However, the program hasn't made the playoffs since 1993. That nearly changed this year when the criminals posted a 7-3 record. Yuma posted the most wins in a season since that 1993 season was 7. Ladies and gentlemen, your Yuma Team of the Year, the Yuma Criminals. The long-storied Yuma Criminals football program hadn't had a winning season since 2009. We haven't won in a while and we don't win a lot. The last time the Criminals won more than three games in a season was in 2013. So, you know, we all want to be football players. We all want to be winners here. This year, the Criminals were led by a large senior class that for most of their time in high school were overlooked. Coming in from freshman year, sophomore year, junior year, us seniors, we were always bottom of the totem pole. We weren't the strongest, we weren't the biggest, we weren't the best, but we were always together. The criminals strive to change the narrative from losing to winning both on and off the field. We, we wanted to win for each other. You can't take care of things in the class, you can't take care of things on the field. However, the start of the season began like many others, with back-to-back -back losses to Dysert and Mojave. Uh, it, was, it was tough. Um, we, I mean, we spent a lot of time in the film room, film room after that game. Rather than fall back into the old losing habits. Hey, finish strong. Finish out three. One, two, three, finish! After the loss, the first two losses, no, it, 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 we couldn't handle it. The criminals changed their mentality. Instead of bringing them down, we picked them up, helped them, and the kids that weren't so good at the beginning, They've gotten way better. Uh, we're always talking to each other. We're always communicating. We're always like building each other up. Like if somebody misses up a play, if somebody drops a pass, you know, we're always there's always somebody there to pick them up. And they put in the work for it, and they're just flat out sick of uh, just getting the results that they got. So, like I said, a lot of credit goes to them. I uh, put in the work. I provided the opportunities. They bought in. They put the work in. The wins followed with victories over Antelope and Kofa. At two and two, the criminals hit the road for a game that would change their season. Kingman. Kingman. So when we get into Kingman, we realized that, um, that we're going up against a good team. And that was really the turning point. Uh, we went up there, beat them 35-0. So we just walked in there on their homecoming. You know, we're, we're legit. We're, we can compete with some good teams. We were the better team. Everyone knew we were a better team. With confidence at an all-time high. Um, I think a lot of it goes to, uh, like I said, the staff and the relationships we build within our program. We try to be a family here. Um, and like any family, uh, we like to hang out with each other, so we're spending a lot of time, uh, we're growing, um, and you become who you hang around most. The Criminals finished the season winning five of their final six games, ending the season at 7-3, and three, a fitting tribute to a former Yuma great, Curly Culp, who was immortalized during the year at Doan Field. He was a dual sport athlete. He did. He was amazing at wrestling, amazing at football. He's an inspiration. His jersey's actually right behind you. So every time we'd walk to practice at 5 a.m., we'd always see his jersey coming in. So after seeing Curly Colt on the top of the field, it was just pure inspiration. I think it's awesome, just flat out for the school, the tradition, the alumni, um, rep getting rep to represent him and his uh, legacy that he left here. The criminal seven wins are the most since 1993, and although they just missed the playoffs, this season will be one that will be forever remembered. It means, it means something to me because you know, Yuma High, we haven't been winning in a lot of sports for a little bit. I just really love this team. I love this family. We worked so hard for that, so we all really appreciate that. And we'll always remember this team, and we'll, I'm pretty sure none of us will forget each other.